Hello class. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your first character within Autodesk Character Generator, this web-based application that allows you to customize uh, uh, different features for a character. So I, I want to remind you that when you start off, you do not have any of the characters here. These are the ones that I've created previously. But if this is your first one, you're going to go ahead and click on New. And so right here, it gives you a couple of different options to start off. Uh, the things that I want to point out is that uh, as a student, you might see some of these icons that on the corner that have these little blue little um, icons. Uh, these say that you require, they require purchase. Uh, but as a student account, you have like a one bajillion million trillion units. So you actually don't have to pay for anything. So you're able to use all of the features that you want to. Uh, first, you're going to start off with uh, a template. You could either use the default uh, female or male template, or you could use one of these different uh, presets. These are the premium ones. They are the standard ones as well. So I just click on this, and we're just kind of waiting for it to Oh, here. Here are the premium ones. Here's a standard. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start off with uh, any one of these. We'll just go ahead and here, we'll choose uh, this guy right here, George. George. Let's go ahead and tell it to customize. So what you have over here on the far left, you have a preview. Now this preview takes a moment to update depending on how fast your internet connection is. You can see right here it's taking a little bit longer to upload. And what you have are the different areas that you could customize. You want to focus on the head. And the way that it that character generator works is that it gives you two different, uh, think of them as templates. Uh, they like to use the word ancestry. So in order to create this character here, you have the two different heads. And as you scale between them, you could morph from Todd to Ryan, there are different presets. Uh, that was my printer. So we could scroll through here. You don't have to start off or use these. You could always choose your own. Uh, you can see right here, David has this little icon. Again, you don't have to worry about that. It shows you what the characters are used. Right here I have Ryan, who's in use, and also Todd. So you could select two, any faces. So say, for example, here, I'm going to bring Terrence into the mix. And then maybe let's switch from Ryan here. Let's use this guy, uh, Devin. It takes a moment to update. And right now, this is the master control. So it's changing the two aspects. But if you look underneath it, you are also able to change individual characteristics. So if I unclick eyes, now only the eyes are changing. So it is possible that if you want to use a different uh, preset, so say, for example, let's put in Biff here. Actually, let's choose something different, um, Bozo. So now we can go from Terrence to Bozo, and only the eyes are changing. And you have that control for all of the different features. If you want to go from the ears, the chin, the mouth, the chin, the nose, and the cheeks. Once you're done creating or customizing your character, here, we're going to keep Bozo's eyes. Here, we're going to give them a happy look. We could then go to the skin. Now, for these, these are all textures. So say, for example, if I choose this one, uh, this is called, uh, I guess it doesn't have a name. I'm going to select this one. It's applying this texture, but it's still keeping your uh, your facial features. So, say for example, I want to choose this guy right here. Oh, I actually just select it. Now it's in use. So let's choose this one. You can see it's just this is a texture that's being applied onto the facial feature of your model. So here, I'm going to use, uh, let's see, this one right here with green dots, maybe. 
Okay, I like that one. We can then go into the eye color. You have different eye colors that you could use. Here, let's use this. Ooh, let's use one of these cat eyes. Here, he's green skinned, so maybe he has also green eyes. Or maybe these yellow eyes, yellow cat eyes. Okay, I like that. For hair, there's different types of hair. Some of the hairs uh, models are, or the hairstyles, I should say, are either tied to your texture, uh, where some of the hairstyles could also be an actual model. Say, for example, this uh, mohawk here. You see this is actually created a little model. Some of them have variations. So say, for example, hey, he's green, green skin, green mohawk. And you could also choose some of the female for features as well. So what if we want to give some hair? You can see, especially with the, the female hairstyles, uh, some of these are actual models that are not necessarily tied to the just the texture. It's an actual model. It's an actual hair piece. Uh, I, I think I liked the other one before. So let's go. Oh, we, we have this one as, as well. The same one. I'll take that one. Then you're able to change the body features as well. So just like uh, what we did with the faces. So he already has some clothes. So if you want to use that preset, but just on this one, you're able to change. We have a, a model called Jack, another one called Gilbert. And on this one, the same thing, you're able to go from one to the other. So again, this is called like the ancestry feature. So I'll go ahead and go through this list. Again, there's different types of bodies. Uh, there's a female bodies. And yes, you could combine the female and the male bodies together. So I'm just going to leave this one in between here. And then once you get to clothes, you're also to able to change the clothes from the top to the bottom to the shoes. And one thing that I would do want to point out is with these controls right here, uh, these do take a moment to update because it's giving you a preview, but also right here where it says body, you're able to focus on one of the different uh, uh, body parts. If you want to focus on the arms when you're working on the arms, or if you want to look at, uh, say, for example, the chest, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just going to go ahead and change his outfit. Let's go ahead and give him something uh, a little bit... Uh, uh, just have some, some fun. So let's give him a, it's kind of like this jersey here, number seven. Let's change his bottoms. And there's a lot of the same. We give him some shorts. Do they have other types of shorts? Yeah, we have these shorts right here. Let's check out the variations. All right, he's green. Do you have green here? We have green. This guy likes green. Uh, Got to change his shoes. And we could give him barefoot. Let's see, do you have any variations? No green shoes? I think we'll find green. Green shoes. Once you're done with your model, at the very bottom, you could tell it to select finish. Now, just by clicking finish doesn't mean you're done. You should give your character a name. And we're going to call this one, oh, that's, uh, we'll just call him Orc. Very original. I'm going to go ahead and tell it OK. And then what you're going to get is you'll have this one right here. The previews take a moment to be created, to be uploaded. But at this point, you've now created your first character design. So uh, one of the things that I do want to mention is that you are able to uh, save and come back to it. But if you do come back to it, it's actually going to create a new version. So say, for example, if I go back to this one and tell it to edit, I'm going to do this right now. It's taking me back to the character creation. And I could go back in here and change different features. Uh, let's go back and just play with the clothing. Uh, 
and say, okay, maybe I want to change his top. Maybe I want to really keep or give him different variations. Here, let's add this uh, green long sleeve shirt. There we go. And say if I tell this one to finish, it's not overriding the previous one that I had. It's going to create a new one. So I'm going to call this one, uh, in the traditional artist sense, orc2. OK. And now what you're going to see is that, OK, orc, uh, the preview finished for this one. Now we have this one right here, which is orc2. The preview also needs to create. Uh, if we want to delete one of these, we could always delete it, and it get, gets rid of it. Uh, this right here, to generate this character, this will be in our next video. I'm going to show you what it means to generate the video. Right now, we just created the design, but we actually haven't created anything that can be used outside of this web application. So in the next, next video, I'm going to show you how to generate your own character. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.